This is a field of Jimmy Red corn. It's a very rare corn that uh, it originated, we think, probably several hundred years ago out of Florida. It's an Indian corn. And it migrated up through Georgia into South Carolina. And some good friends of mine uh, uh, gave me this seed this past year. And we're, we've got a garden spot picked here a mile away from any any other place around here. It's uh, it's my great uncle's home who uh, he and, and uh, my aunt are, have gone on to be with the Lord. And their son, who's one of my close friends, uh, Judge Ray Martin, he owns this spot and lets me uh, plant this corn here. And we let it grow up a little bit in here. And I'll tell you why, we planted uh, a very unique bean in here. It's Cherokee Trail of Tear Beans to let them run up the vine. And uh, of course, we've got a little morning glory in here too, but we've left this alone because this spot right here, for the first time in, I don't know, 20, 30 years, we have a covey of quail here now. Since we've been gardening this spot and especially letting it grow up just a little bit, and we found this in other food plots, too, uh, where we grow corn and peas and beans. It's our man and wildlife food plot program. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing quail come back. But here is this trail of bean right here. You see how they're growing up in the, uh, on this corn stalk? This is a Cherokee trail of bean, uh, trail of tear beans. It's a black bean, but it's real good as a pole bean, and you can plant them and let them grow up your your stalk. The problem here, we have a lot of morning glory, and they they want to grow up that corn stalk as well. So this is going to be a beautiful corn for us, uh, Jimmy Red. It's almost extinct. There's a few people that grow it in Charleston area of South Carolina, and it. Kathy and I ate some last night. It's a beautiful tasting, just a, a great corn to eat. Uh, table fare, it's just a fantastic eating corn. Has a very unique flavor, uh, almost a little bit of a spice to it. Like we couldn't put our, we just couldn't figure it out. It's just, it's a very unique flavor to it. It's not so much a sweet corn. It's just, uh, it has a kind of a, a spice, like a nutmeg or some kind of flavor that I'm not used to. But it's a real good, good eating corn. 99% of this corn will be saved for seed. It's probably, I would say, an eighth of an acre we've grown right here. We only had a little seed to plant, and now next year we'll be able to plant an acre or two of it. And that's a lot of seed to sell. Jimmy Red Corn.